They just want in with guns. They're after George. You gotta do something. You gotta go help them. Now. All right, step away. Anybody else hurt? A deranged man pulls a gun. Innocent lives are in danger. You only have a split second to react, and the wrong decision could mean death. Welcome to Virtua Systems. I'm Terry Shepard, and this is Digital Justice. An innovative tech company called Virtua Systems develops unique virtual training simulators for military and law enforcement around the world. Down! The big things that make Virtua different than anybody else is we're the only company that does a five screen, 300 degree simulator. So automatically, just from a hardware standpoint. The other thing that makes us unique in that world is we do real video. My fucking business. You know, their eyes are moving, yeah. their, their fingers are twitching, their facial expressions are changing as you're interacting. You immediately are immersed into yeah, a world absolutely. that is hard to recreate any other way. Using his experience as a former cop, Scott Diulo offers his expertise to improve Virtra's realistic scenarios. A couple of the deadly force encounters I was involved with over my 20 year career, I can tell you, uh, None of the simulations training I had prepared me for those encounters. Right. So when I saw what Virtua was doing, first and foremost, it was a 300 degree simulator. It's full situational awareness. So now when I design the content, I can incorporate contact and cover, scan and assess. All these principles that we've done on the marksmanship right. range, yeah. we can be involved in ambushes or deadly force encounters in, a, in an environment they can actually get good training value out of. To demonstrate their product, Virtra let me test out their simulator. What you're standing in is our uh, flagship 300 degrees uh, simulator. I'm already nervous. <laughs> I'm already <laughs> nervous. Uh, this is our training tool. It's our threat fire, which uh, you'll be wearing through the scenarios. Oh, adds, awesome. Adds consequences. So uh, go ahead and fire it up, Dave. <laughs> so the officers see that. I don't like, like that noise, Scott. I don't <laughs> like that noise at all. If you get shot, instructor initiates it. OK. It's supposed to simulate a round hitting their vest or hitting them. There's pain, yeah. stress. So it's amazing. How I mean, they fight through it. Getting hit, taking that pain, and staying in the fight and bringing the fight to the bad guy. This is an actual Glock 22. We take out the barrel, we add in our drop in recoil kits. So now we're simulating realistic recoil. Cartridges, we're running through now. We're getting enough recoil out of the weapon system, trigger pull, front sight post. Let's go. Let's all right. Do it. I'm nervous. Go. Three all seven, check welfare at 5222 West Blue Pine. I'm gonna kill you right now if you don't answer my question! Hey! Dude, put the gun down! Put the gun down! You cannot win this! Put the gun down! I'm telling you from someone who hasn't seen this, you can win. Oh, that was bad. So how did it feel? My hands are sweating. So this is... I didn't know how to talk the guy down. If you notice, I took a branch where you were talking to him, I took his finger off the trigger and he turned the muzzle away from her head. I lost some of that when I was watching him because of where my hands were. I actually should have paid more attention to the gun. We gave you a window of opportunity to see if you recognize, okay, fingers off the trigger, the muzzle's kind of... Would that be a time canted? to shoot him? That's the time to engage. Okay. We have an in-house casting agent. We look for, um, you know, mannerisms and do they fit the, the profile of, right. you know, whether it's a bomb maker or a kidnapper or a upset husband. I mean, we go through probably 20, 30 interviews to find the right person who's going to represent, you know, that character in the scenario. I even get to take part in something a little more my style, a military scenario. I got Dave, a former Special Forces brother of mine, so uh, anything I need to know before we, we start? Well, I don't want to give it away for you. Okay, cool. Um, so we'll just have you with your back towards the, the screen. Okay. You'll hear some communications over the, the audio. Um, once you hear the breach, go ahead and turn around and react to it. So like, if I don't do well, you're not going to go back and talk smack to my old group, are you? Oh, I will. You know I will. Well, how'd it go? 
I don't know, man. I'm sweating. I'm shaking. Yeah. That was right in your face. You know what I mean? So that was really good. Really good. And that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to get it as realistic as possible. Um, of course, we have to go in steps. That's one of your more advanced things there, situations or scenarios there. Yeah. However, we're trying to get everybody prepared for the real thing. The feedback usually is, I didn't think a simulator could be this good. I didn't think there was real training value in simulators until I was able to uh, do a couple scenarios in your 300. So that that's typical of, of what we see. Just did the National Tactical Officers Association uh, trade show. A lot of switched on guys going through the simulator. Say, a lot you of can't, good tactical guys. You can't pull anything on them. I had a couple guys go through that had been in uh, previous deadly force encounters. Um, they're coming out of the simulator. They're their breathing's up, their heart rate's up, they're handing back the weapons to me and they're covered in perspiration. If we're making content that gets that reaction out of tactical operators, then we're doing our job. You have success. I, I get goosebumps listening yeah. to you because I mean, that's a huge thing. And that's what it's all about, what, is it's going gotta, back to those guys. Nothing can replicate experience, but this comes pretty darn close, doesn't it? It's close. It? I mean, the, you know, there are limitations to this simulator. Um, in the use of force continuum, you can't go hands-on in the simulator. But we do the best we can to make the most current and realistic scenarios we can. Whether you're a Green Beret or a police officer, realistic training can mean the difference between success or failure, life or death. Vertra is pushing the envelope of technology, giving an edge to the cop on the street or the soldier on the battlefield. I'm Terry Shepard and this has been Digital Justice.